Hi everyone, welcome to the part 6 of this series and in this episode we are going to continue with our funnel and basically pick up where we left on the landing page. So we finish up the landing page like this and now what I would like to you to do is go ahead, click on this uh, button and we want to start working on our thank you page so let's go ahead and click on thank you page the user interface and the building is pretty much going to be the same so let's go ahead and click on full width I'm gonna go and add a row this time I only want it to be one column so the idea of the thank you page is basically to uh, segue uh, the people before actually say, um, pushing them to the actual offer, you would like you want to have kind of a segue to tell them what's gonna happen next. So that's why it's always a good idea to have a thank you page in between your capture page and your final offer. So we put the thank you page. I also suggest if you're good with uh, video, uh, videos are really good uh, for a thank you page. So you can uh, pretty much shoot a video. I'm gonna show you how you can actually do that and edit it. Uh, into a thank you page in a second, but just basically to uh, give it a little bit of content uh, headline and uh, thanking them uh, to subscribing to your list and telling them what's going to happen and that you are going to be like for example in contact with them via email. So basically tell them to make sure to go there check check their inbox, their spam, their promotion, and look for your email and make sure that. Uh, they going to add you to their contact list so they will never miss any any email or notification from you so these are the things that you want to put inside the uh, thank you page and pretty much any other thing that you want to don't want to make it like too long uh, keep it around like less than a minute uh, preferably like 30 seconds basically t thanking them all right so that's enough me th talking let's go ahead and add a headline and um, let's say uh, pretty much thank you for uh, your interest something like in lines of that and then let's go ahead and add a video so the way that to add a video you click on video it drops it in here you have a couple of options in here so if I select on the video and on the left hand side if you have a look we have a couple of different video type options so you can have YouTube Vimeo, Vistia, Custom Embedded, and HTML5. If you already have a YouTube channel, I recommend you can do actually YouTube. It's pretty easy. You go ahead, you uh, do your video, you upload it to your channel, you can make it unlisted so no one else is going to be able to see it. You grab the link, copy the link, and come back in here and paste it in here. Or the other options would be you go to your uh, let's say you don't have a, a YouTube channel, you can actually go to Vimeo. I'm going to do the Vimeo in this video and show you how you can actually do that. Uh, Vimeo, you can uh, simply create a free account in Vimeo and you go ahead and log in or sign up. I've already logged in, so I'm going to just uh, skip this and just log into my account. All right, now I'm logged in. So you can go ahead and click on new video and upload. I'm not going to do it because I've already uploaded like two videos as an example. Once you upload your videos, you have uh, them in here. And then you see there is a copy link in here for more action. So you click on the copy link. That's the easiest way. You click on copy link. It copies the, you want to copy the video link. You can also do the embed code, but in this, uh, for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm just going to show you, uh, do the video link. You copy the video link and then you head back to Entresoft, your funnel builder, you click on the video, make sure you change the video type to Vimeo and then you paste the URL in here. And as soon as you paste it, you see the video comes up. So it shows the video. Uh, it doesn't have any thumbnail right now. You can actually choose your thumbnail inside the Vimeo as well. You can put it there. So it's exact same process for the YouTube. So you basically, uh, from the YouTube, you grab the link to your video and paste the link in here. Uh, you, there are a bunch of other options that you can play with. You can have uh, a shadow for the video box and basically the paddings, 
and that's you can also add a border if you want to to other video like a 10 pixel border make it like stands out like that bunch of uh things that you would uh, you might want to do and once you're done you have all of your information and everything in there uh the last part is basically you want to send the user to your actual office so what you need to do is simply you need to add a button uh, let's go ahead and actually click on the orange uh, by the way if you don't like to add your element like this you can always click on elements click on add element and when it comes in here you just hold and drag and just let go wherever you want once you see that blue line just let it go there you go uh, let's go ahead and what I want to do I want to bring this button further down I want to choose a theme for this one as well preferably the same as the previous one that we had we chose this one and uh, let's go ahead and change the color to be red and uh, let's go ahead and make it full width well, actually let's keep it fluid and let's go ahead and remove the border uh, where was the border so let's first actually watch the video now for example something like this and we always keep uh, losing the border so do, 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 do. there we go full border keep no border that looks better all right make sure that you hit save now this time we want to have it as an action so this one when the user clicks on this we want them in my case because I'm promoting I'm actually uh, promoting Entra Institute I'm going to send them to uh, the Entra so I'm just gonna put a website URL and in here I'm gonna type my link so I'm just gonna go and grab my link for example okay I copied my link and I'm just gonna paste it in here and that's that it is saved it's all there so all I need to do I'm just gonna save this and that is your thank you page now to wrap this up I'm just gonna go ahead and actually do launch the funnel and we can go through the funnel and I'll show you how it's all going to look like and how it works so let's go ahead and actually test the funnel all right in order to launch the funnel you first need to give it as you can see it doesn't have any URL so what you can do you can go to settings and you want to select a domain for that so if I choose one of my domains like for example let's say this domain that I have I hit save and now I will be able to launch my funnel so I click on this icon and it will show my funnel live for the first time here we go nice and clean shows up the image everything I click on download your free ebook my pop-up comes up in here I put a random name and I put a random email as well just the purpose of testing I click on download your ebook now and once the form has been submitted it goes to the thank you page I can actually play and watch my video as you can see it's gonna load I'm just gonna pause it for now and then I'm gonna click on this and this will land on my offer and this is the offer as you can see so the user lands in here they can play the offer and watch the offer that my partner has Jeff Lerner okay so now the last thing is we want to see if that person that I've just added is actually added to uh, in contact list that we have. So on the left hand side if you go and click on contacts and then contact and smart list this is the list of all subscribers and customers that you have. So as you can see all the way at the top is the one that I've already added with that weird email address there so as you can see it's already hooked up and everything is working so we just created a fully functional funnel we attach our high ticket affiliate at the end of it and we also capturing the user data everything is working perfectly in the next episode we are going to go and create our marketing email marketing campaign around this funnel so basically when the user sign up they're going to start 
first of all receive the ebook that we promised to them into their email and from there we can actually send other uh, information to them as well so make sure that you stay tuned for the next episode and also once again please do make sure that you like this video subscribe to my youtube channel and also tap on that bell icon if you would also like to learn more about these things and also unlock the special videos in this series that are only for the members make sure that you join our membership we do a lot of perks one-on-one -on -one coaching and everything have a look at that click on the join button and join our membership i'm looking forward to working with you thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye